Imagine if reversing wrinkles, boosting collagen, and even stimulating hair growth could be as simple as sitting in front of a light for five minutes a day. No needles, no chemicals, no downtime, just light. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm usually the biggest spokesperson against quick fixes. Most so-called miracles in beauty come with hidden costs, skin thinning, irritation, or long-term damage. But here is the exception, red light therapy. It truly only takes five minutes and I can't think of anything faster and more effective that delivers real long lasting results. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Nadia Banshakrun, the consumer's guide in the often so very confusing world of beauty. Here, I cut through the noise, separate science from marketing, and help you find solutions that actually work, not just for today, but for decades ahead. I'm working on a review website where you can just go and review most skincare products out there. You can submit your own thoughts as well, and that takes so much effort. And for that, I ask your support. So please become a paid member on this channel, or even better, you can go to thebeautydoctrine.com and become a VIP subscriber, which comes with a ton of benefits, one of which is a permanent ongoing discount of 15%, 50% off on your birthday and many other perks. I appreciate everybody that's supporting everything that we're trying to do here at The Beauty Doctrine. And we're back. Today, we're diving into what I believe is one of the most powerful anti-aging tools available right now, red light therapy. So what is red light therapy? At its core, red light therapy is the use of specific wavelengths of light, usually between 600 and 850 nanometers. These wavelengths penetrate deep into your skin, reaching your mitochondria, and that's the little power plants inside each of your cells. When the mitochondria absorb this light, they create more ATP, which is the currency of energy in your body. That's what your body uses to heal, repair, and regenerate. More ATP means faster healing, stronger collagen networks, and reduced inflammation. This isn't pseudoscience. NASA first studied red light therapy decades ago to speed up wound healing in astronauts. Since then, Hundreds of peer-reviewed studies have confirmed its benefits for skin rejuvenation, hair growth, muscle recovery, joint pain, and even mood regulation. All right, let's talk about why red light therapy works for skin aging specifically. Wrinkles, sagging, and dullness often trace back to two problems, decline in collagen production as we age, and mitochondrial slowdown. Essentially, our cells simply produce a lot less energy. Red light addresses both by stimulating fibroblasts. It increases collagen and elastin, making skin firmer and smoother. It also boosts circulation, which delivers more nutrients and oxygen to the surface of the skin. Clinical studies show red light therapy can reduce fine lines and wrinkles up to 30% after just a few months of use. I personally saw amazing results after two months of using red light five minutes a day, five days a week, and we'll get to the frequency later. And unlike prescription retinoids, lasers, and chemical peels, it doesn't thin or sensitize your skin. Now, many of you have been asking me what is the best device, panels, beat masks any day, and I'll tell you why. You've probably seen the red light masks trending all over social media. They look fantastic, futuristic, girly, all of that. Not my favorite at all because here at The Beauty Doctrine, I think about long-term side effects, all of the ramifications, and many of the clients that have come to me saying that red light therapy caused them pigmentation. I ask them what device they've used, and that is a mask. So my personal conclusion, there are no studies out there about that, but what I've concluded based on experience and customer feedback and common sense is that when you expose your skin to thermal 
energy or any energy source this close the masks are typically touching your skin of course if you are prone to hyperpigmentation that could be a result but that's not all treatment time can also be a factor in potential problems with red light therapy so masks require 10 to 20 minutes treatment time versus panels you only need three to five minutes which makes them easy to squeeze into your daily routine and also there is less exposure to that daily energy hence less potential for side effects i also like the potential coverage so a panel doesn't just treat your face it can treat your chest your hair obviously it helps with hair growth you can use it anywhere on your body where you're experiencing inflammation pain and so on so for efficiency safety and versatility can't say that word <laughs> But we'll move on panels win now let's talk about the five five rule that is a rule that i made up uh, based on experience obviously and just to make things easy for consumers to remember so it's five days a week five minutes a day can you deviate from that of course you can i just would caution against overusing red light therapy because we have to keep in mind it's still energy that we're exposing to face two uh five minutes is typically what's on most packaging for panels some panels that emit a lot more energy they're much stronger in their output can say three minutes so of course use your best judgment here but the five five is general for optimal results and of course your results will max out at some point for me personally again going back to my experience i'm 48 years old now when i was 43 i experienced a massive decline in elasticity my neck just dropped and so that's the first time i started using red light therapy i used it for about two months aiming at every day but i was successful at doing it about five to six days a week about two months i saw that tightening in my neck and then i started kind of scaling back from there so eventually i started using it four days a week then three days a week now five years later if i do it once or twice a week i feel really good about that and of course keeping in mind aging is a dynamic process it means we're aging every day so i'm five years older and of course there'll be times if i'm going through a lot of stress if i'm not really taking care of myself that well i will see that advanced aging happening so then i'm going to start recommitting to that five five rule but that's just me i always err on the side of caution i want to do the absolute minimum for maximum results i don't like to overdo anything whether it's red light or supplements or anything else in life so red light benefits extend beyond reversing wrinkles and enhancing elasticity let's talk for a bit about what it can do for your hair and body let's start with hair growth studies have shown that red light therapy stimulates dormant follicles and can thicken thinning hair you can use it for joint and muscle health athletes have been known now to use it to speed up recovery reduce soreness and ease arthritis pain and of course you can use it for wound healing as well because it's going to accelerate that tissue repair and reduce scarring red light therapy has also been shown to improve mood and sleep it even was used on cancer patients as they were going through chemotherapy it influences mitochondrial health your circadian rhythm and many people have reported deeper sleep and improved mood this makes light therapy a true longevity modality or tool not just another beauty gadget now let's chat about how to use that red light therapy first please use it on clean skin i cannot tell you how many times i've read in packaging uh, of red light therapy devices where it said use red light to help the penetration of your skincare products that's a huge mistake because you don't know every single ingredient that's in your product if it so happens that your product has of hydroxy acids or citrus ingredients there could be that interaction between the ingredients and the red light triggering some type of hyperpigmentation or issue with the skin or even enhancing sensitivity let's remember that red light is essentially the sun without the uv so first rule we want to use red light on absolutely clean skin that's not freshly exfoliated and that's also really important because when we exfoliate the skin we kind of weaken its defenses we can also cause little micro abrasions we don't want to take that risk so if you're going to exfoliate maybe do it in the evening if you're doing the red light in the morning 
Does it matter if you use it morning or night? What matters is that you integrate it into your routine. I have come across a study a while ago where it said it's better during the day because of that enhanced blood flow, enhanced oxygen. So it essentially enhances the way you look for the day and it also helps strengthen your defenses against the sun. So it just makes the skin a lot more resilient. Nothing wrong with using it at night, but please, we don't want to use it day and night in the same day. Just one treatment is sufficient. Distance is also important, so we want to keep our light about 6 to 12 inches away. Listen, red light isn't a magic wand. It is ultra helpful in your anti-aging journey. However, if you're eating sugar all day, laying out in the sun all day, stressing, not sleeping, over exfoliating, using the wrong skincare, it's not going to save you. But when combined with the functional beauty principles that I teach on this channel, a nutrient-rich diet, barrier-supportive ingredients, good supplements that strengthen your skin, essentially healthy daily habits, red light therapy becomes a catalyst. It enhances everything you're doing, helping you repair faster and age more gracefully. This is about re-energizing your cells so your body can naturally do what it was designed to do on its own, just better. So if you've ever been let down by serums and creams, and I hear that all the time, red light therapy might just be the simplest and most effective step you can start today to better your routine. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried red light therapy? Have you seen results? Please share. This is a place where we're all learning from each other. And if this video brought you clarity on red light therapy or provided you any value, please subscribe and consider becoming a supporting member of the channel.